We are live. Welcome to the Mad Chat, everybody. I hope you're doing all right. Um, it's another Sunday. My God, these weeks are going like that, aren't they? Huh? Especially if you're not working. Um, uh, it's great to see you here. Um, so it's another Sunday, uh, another Mad Chat. And while I'm not working and I don't feel that Monday, you know, Monday blues, no, Sunday, Monday blues, it's, it's really um, awesome to do these mad chats with you guys. Um, let's give a little quick shout out to the, the early risers. We've got Idle Time here. We've got Michael uh, Wild here. we got John Bashaw here. we got got uh, Mr. Kevlar's here. Yes. we got Frasier here. Ed Davies Artistries here. Bobby Legs is here. Uh, we have got uh, Nathan's here. Nice to see you, Nathan. BK UK is here. Nice to see you, my friend. It's an honor to have you um, here at another mad chat. It's going to be an interesting one today because um, it's it's all about Glenn's here. How are you doing, Glenn? It's all about um, well, I'm not so to say budget divers because if you speak to if you speak to anyone that isn't into watches, you know, spending hundred pounds, ninety pounds, eighty pounds on a watch is quite expensive to uh people that aren't really into watches so uh i say budget um it's on a budget of a hundred pounds isn't it uh mark Nimmons here uh with Nimmons here we got terry's here terry fenner terry fenner nice to see you my friend he is the wonderful man that sent in the casio um surfing timer the show that i did uh last week and i absolutely loved that watch um, oh my God, you are joking, Mr. Bobby Legs. This is not, this is, I've got super chat because I spoke to Bobby after the, um, the last show and I said, Bobby, Bobby, how do you do super chats? And he showed me how to do it. Bobby, I'm very, um, I'm honored about that. Um, Bobby, if you haven't looked at Bobby's channel yet, do so for a content creator to, um, to, to 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 give me a super chat, matey. I, I'm 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 massively um, honoured by that. Um, uh, we've got Harry sixty eight um, here. We've got, oh mate, Bobby, that's brilliant. Uh, how are we doing? Um, first of all, what we need to do because I haven't done this before, and I and I decided I'd do it is let's do a live Casio corner, shall we? Um, I get sent. I get tagged so many Casios. Um, I love to show more than what I do. Um, but um, today's Casio comes from none other than Watch and Carry. Um, look at this, everybody. Um, so this is the Casio uh, CA53. It's one of the new gens, the ones with the new um, color cases. Uh, what he's done here, though, because these new cases come in negative displays, he has obviously, um, well, he's obviously modded this or he's changed the color because it's negative display on these new ones. Um, and he has uh, uh, got it. It looks like the old gen, doesn't it? But what I love about this is I don't know if you've ever seen. Um, well, if you see my last giveaway, which was the Zerich watch. Um, they do, Zerich also sells um, straps, and this is a Zerich strap. And I saw Random Rob, um, YouTube channel, when, when I was doing my research on the surfing timer, that he had his surfing timer on one of these Zerich straps. And they are awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, uh, Earl B31's uh, here. Nice to see you. Uh, Average Joe, brother from another. Nice to see you, my friend. Uh, Jan's here. Oh, the Jan mug is out. And the Jan mug's out. Ooh. Lovely water. What I am doing is I am, uh, you know, rewarding myself today. I've got a Kinder Hippo. Um, if you don't know what Kinder Hippos have, you haven't. Not If you don't know what they are, you haven't lived yet. Oh, oh they are amazing. Like Kinder chocolate. It's unbelievable. Very rude me talking while eating, but... Who cares? You know, it's my show. Do you know what I mean? Well done to um, Watch and Carry. You are the first live Casio Corner. That's really good, isn't it? Excellent. Um, what, what's that? Good to watch out. Oh, don't mind if I do. Um, today, I am wearing um, my Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. 
and I have it on this amazing uh, new Haverston um, parade strap. It's a NATO, it's a single pass, but you don't they don't make them very long, so you don't get that flappy big bit at the end that you do get on a lot of NATOs. Um, and as you can see, I've still got, as a small wrist, I've only got six and a half inch wrists, um, but there's still some, uh, wait, can you see it? Oh, wait a minute. There's still some holes to go on this strap. Uh, it just works so well, doesn't it? If you don't know Haverston uh, straps, please go and check them out on the on the website. They are tremendous stuff. Um, Hamilton in the house. Uh, who we got? We have got Owen here from the Netherlands. You, sir, you are the ambassador for the Netherlands of the Mad Watch Collector Show. So I've just um, uh, royally um, appointed you that. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have you on board. Um, oh. <laughs> well, listen, um, I was influenced. OK, I was influenced, Jan, by your uh, husband to be. Uh, that is, where is he? Yes, that is Sir Bob Ross at the top there. Um, I absolutely love Bob Ross. Um, and uh, when I saw the little bubble head that Average Joe had in his shows, uh, I needed to get one as well. They're awesome. So he's always going to stay there. I don't want to make him too much of a focal point because um, uh, Average Joe wants, it, it has been using them. So I'm just having it in there in the background. It's good, isn't it? Uh, we've got Kevin McQueen here from Troon, Scotland. It's a pleasure. Slicey Dice. We have got Knife Royalty here. Um, Slicey D Dice is here. Nice to see you, my friend. Mark Robinson. He's here, the Cornish man. He's from the Cornish, Cornish side of the team. Oh, we've got so many people here. It's amazing. Absolutely love you guys. Um, so let's um, move on, shall we? Actually, can you tell me what you're wearing? Um, I would like uh, to see or like to know what you are all wearing. I'm wearing the khaki field mechanical. Um, and I would like to know what you are wearing. Come on. First five. The first five of you to type in quick and we will show it off. Come on. Come on. Lyndon's in the house. Lyndon is in the house. Uh, do you find it a bit creepy how much we look into your backdrop? <laughs> um, I, I love it. I absolutely love it because, um, you know, if if I hadn't had, if I didn't do this channel, I would, you know, this stuff would probably be in a drawer somewhere. You know what I mean? And I'd have a nice decanter of whiskey and uh, uh, and I'd have, uh, I've got a record player. It would probably go on there as well. But I love showing these off, you know. Um, what we have, we have got Terry. He has got an SKX007 on, on a strap code oyster bracelet. Lovely. Glenn's got the Nighthawk on. Yes. Citizen. Lovely stuff. Bobby has got the 857 UTC. That is a tremendous watch. Have a look at that because that is special. James B, what you got? Hamilton Pilot Pioneer. Well, having known one, of the, I own one of those, matey, and it is superb. Absolutely superb. Nathan's wearing his Christopher Ward C65 GMT, 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 GMT. Um, that is amazing, matey. I've seen that picture. Um, I've seen a picture of your, of that watch and I love it. Um, oh, Average Joe's got a Casio Field on a NATO. That is new, isn't it? Are you going to be reviewing that soon? Ryan Newby's here, yes. SKX009, beautiful. Tag Aqua Racer. Lovely. Oh, look at all these. These are fantastic. Um, absolutely love it. Uh, oh, H HMSN Rolex Oyster Perpetual 30. No, white dial. Very crisp. Very crisp. I love it, my friend. Oh, Mark, look at this. Submariner 41 millimeter date. Love it. With the magnifying, with the old um Cyclops. I love it, my friend. Very good. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, he's definitely well. Steve Papa, watch reviews. Go check his YouTube out. Uh, he's got the new G Shock GA 2100 SKE 7A. Ah, oh, how do we? How do we not know that was right? Huh? Um. Oh, so Jan's got what she got. She got the Tissot Powermatic 80 on. I love how you swap your watches. You change your watches over and stuff. Um. My wife's got a wrist of. 
I've got six and a half inch wrist. My wife's got a, a wrist size of, I think it's three and a half inch. So it's blooming small. Do you know what I mean? Um, she could just about get, um, well, actually, she really loves this watch. She loves the khaki mechanical, but um, uh, she doesn't really wear watches. I have gotten, I did get her a watch for Christmas. Um, she hasn't worn it yet. Um, she's not 100% sure on it. Um, so I'm not going to do a review on it or anything, just in case I made a massive mistake. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Good. Now, listen, the reason why we are here today is we are looking for the definitive, the definitive list of dive watches that we can purchase right now, brand new for around a hundred bucks. Well, I'd like it to be, I'd like to be hundred pounds. So English sterling or, you know, $130 US, that's fine. Um, but we want to find value. Um, we also want to find a proper dive watch, don't we? We don't want some pretender. You know, we don't want some pretender, like a watch that looks like a, a, a dive watch, but isn't. So the, the only way to do that is... Um, don't tell don't give me your suggestions yet because I want to give you some of my own first. OK, so if you have a look there, have a look there. So we have got um, so we've got all the all the all the, um, the, 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 the things that we need to, to have in a dive watch. Um, so there's one to four. And I at least if you can give us a, 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 a suggestion, it has to be one three i like three i said a minimum of two on the description but i'd like uh three so one it's got to be under 100 pounds okay um two it's got to have a screw down crown three it's got to have a screw down case back four unidirectional dive time bezel um I've, uh, uh, we've got a loom handset and we've got um on the markers and water resistant uh to 100 meters at least 100 meters means we can do what we want okay we can do what we want with it we don't have to worry it we don't have to baby it um i'm pretty sure i may have put four in twice Yes. Yeah. I put four, number four in twice. So I think there's five, six, there's six criteria. Now it needs to be at least three. Okay. Um, now listen, uh, I'm going to give, um, this is what I want from you. The, ex the example is the Casio Duro. Um, a fantastic watch, isn't it? I'm not going to go into detail with this. Um, because we all know it. We all know it. You know, everyone's going to say a Juro, Juro, Casio, Juro, 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 Casio, Juro. There's a song in that somewhere. Uh, 44 millimeter case, 51 lug to lug. It's a quartz. It's got a screw down. Has it got a screw down crown? You need to let me know. Screw down crown, screw down case back. Um, and we've got, and it's 79.99. And it's also 200 meters water resistant with a unidirectional dive time bezel that right there is value in it that is value now what i don't want i do not want don't give your suggestions yet this looks brilliant but don't give them yet because i'll lose them and i'll miss them what i don't want is homages okay so um josh has just said um invicta and i will have to say if he's talking about a, a submariner um homage don't Give me those, please. I don't want any homages because I'm going to do a show on them um, in a week or so's time. OK, just on homages, because you can you can do a whole list on homage watches for under a hundred pound. And yeah, they are superbly value. They're superb value for money, aren't they? But um, I want to have their own um, show. OK, is that all right? Yes. Um, now I am going to give you one, two, three, four. I've got four suggestions for you. And after the four suggestions, you're going to hit me. OK, hit me with them. OK, so I'm going to give you first my um, my uh, I reckon it's the deal of the day. Um, this is Bulova. Uh, we all know um, or Bulova. Um, I think people in England, will say, you know, UK would say Bulova. But I'll say Bulliver, so that's fine. Um, this is the Bulliver 98B348. Now, this puppy has gone down 50%. Okay, it was 149.99. It's now 
79.99 okay um very good very good value for money but Bulliver, hugely superb um a company been around for ages and ever um and look at this puppy this is nice isn't it okay this is nice very nice it looks quite dressy um it's got uh it's 44 millimeter case so it's it's a little bit big but it's only 51 um lug to lug it's it's a it's a lovely looking dial look at that um raised middle bit on the dial it's got a date complication um it I believe it is not a screw down um, cr uh, crown. It is a unidirectional um, uh, dive time bezel. And I do love that color of that bezel. That's quality. Very nice. Um, what else we got? Uh, it's a got, so there's about three or four shops online. I'm not including Amazon, but are selling it for this price because all the websites are matching this price of this thing. Um, and I just think this this is not trying to be anything. It's not trying to homage anything. This is Boulevard. They're, they're just come up with a nice um, looking uh, watch uh, that you could take. What is it? Oh, it's also 100 meters water resistant. It's got a screw down case back. So we're, we're, we're ticking a lot of boxes. There's loom on the handset and the indices. This is a nice looking watch, isn't it? And this is a daily watch. This is a beautiful daily thing that you could work. You could wear to work. Um, you can wear in the swimming. You can go on holiday with it. You know, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. This is a is a, is a quality quality um, watch for me, and I would definitely definitely recommend it. Um, that's my first pick. Okay, snazzy, huh? Uh, my second pick is an obvious one. It is the Vostok Vostok Amphibia. I mean. You know, talk about value for money here. This is an original design. I mean, they come up with about 150 different designs, but it's a Russian company. You know, it's 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 based on Russian war watches of the I think it's the 50s. Um, and it's this is this is a beautiful automatic in-house um, screw down crown, screw down case back. It's a bit weird with the sandwich two piece screwing case back it's got a dive well i was gonna say it's got a dive time bezel it's got a bezel hasn't it um it's sort of it's just based on friction so uh, so uh, you know i was a bit uh, on it when um i reviewed glynn's uh uh vostok amphibia i chose this one because i love the case i think it's slightly smaller than the one i reviewed I love um, the, the the bezel isn't got any color on it, on it, which means the dial that sort of aqua aqua greeny blue teal color is really coming out. And you've got to got, get one with the scuba dude on it, haven't you? I love the handset um, and that red second stand is awesome. You get a date complication, which is brilliant. It's not a quick set date, um, which is a bit annoying, but there is a trick to go to nine o'clock and then go back to twelve and then nine o'clock and then back to twelve to get um to, to get past the date, which is very snazzy. And look at the size of that crown. It's fantastic. It's got that weird unscrewy crown. When you unscrew it, um, it feels floppy um, and it just separates from the stem. Uh, of the crown stem so you know there's less chance of um breaking the stem of the crown you know not that any other watches have that problem uh, but it's a lovely looking watch i, I really like this and i'm probably going to get this one in for a review um i, I did like glenn glenn's one that he sent in uh, i was a little bit shocked at the bezel and the weird crown um, but I love looking into their history and I think it's a great, it's a great, it's a great watch, isn't it? For, I mean, and you can get that on Amazon for seventy five ninety nine. you know, on Amazon, you know, God knows where you can find it elsewhere cheaper than that. But that, I, thought, I think that's pretty special. I thought that was pretty special. Um, uh, the next one is from a brand that average Joe will know definitely about um he will know he will know wobbly bits yes my friend um he will know all about uh accurist now accurist are a british brand and they were formed in 1946 um in london um and i think they were bought out they were bought i think the founders 
the family sold the business in 2014 um, to the same company that owns Seconda. Um, so it's those sort of realms. But this watch is beautiful. OK, you've got to trust me on this. Accurist, you know, they're, they're, they've been around a long time. It's sort of they're very budgety. But uh, have a look at this one. Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you that this is the Acuris 7307 Divers Watch. Oh, so, so it's got Divers Watch in the description and in the title of this, the name of this watch. So it's got to be close to being a Divers Watch, isn't it, eh? Um, just look at that case. This is lovely, isn't it? This is lovely, isn't it, eh? You have got a great looking case. Uh, it's quartz. It's a quartz watch. Um, I think it's the Japanese movement inside, but it's very reliable. Um, look at that um, bezel. It's a stainless steel um, insert. I, th I think it's a, I'm not sure it's a plastic, some sort of carbon um, bezel, but it is 120 click. Um, actually, no, it's 60 click unidirectional. It's got a great click on it. I've seen a couple of reviews. Um, look at that handset. I mean, it looks slightly piloty, um, but that second hand, look at that. I mean, where have you seen handset like that on a dive watch? Oh, this is very nice. Um, that dial is blue. It's a dark sunburst blue, um, and it really plays in the light. It's beautiful. Uh, it's got 200 meters water resistance. It's got a funny gate uh, window in between four and five, but I can just forgive it. I'm all for symmetry, me, you know. Um, but look at this. Um, uh, the, the crown is awesome. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, this is that's the price of this bad boy. This is $89.99 in, in British, British pounds. Um, and this uh, has loom. It's got the bezel. It's got a screw down crown. It's got a screw down case back. It's got 200 meters water resistance. This is by far the best value um, for me under uh, under 90 quid. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, if Tudor came up with a watch like that or Rolex come up with a watch like that, just have Rolex on the top instead of Acuris, we'd be absolutely going nuts, wouldn't we? Um, I love that semi-skeletonized handset as well. Just very clean. Uh, the, the markers are applied as well. It's got a signed crown. I love it. I love it. Um, uh, anyone buys one of these, uh, please let me know what you think. It's only got a, I think the only thing that lets it down for me, it's a 40, what is it? It's a 44 millimeter case, but I've seen it on a few wrists and it looks really good. Um, it comes with that awesome black rub, rubber strap, 22 um, millimeter lugs, and it's only 10, 10 mil thick, which you'd like to think should be, um, being that it's a quartz, but some watches don't, don't, don't do um, thin, thin cases, even with the quartz inside. But look at this, eh? I've done well there, haven't I? <laughs> um, that is on Amazon as well for eighty nine ninety nine, as well as other shops. Um, now, uh, on my last pick, um, well done for all of you that are suggesting it in the um, in the comments bit. That's awesome. You keep going because it really helps the community that are that are watching right now. We're up to sixty two people watching. I think we had a record last week of sixty six. Can we get more people? That would be amazing. Uh, we've got, uh, so I'm going to give you one more pick and it is slightly cheating, but I wanted to cheat because I need to show you this. If, you, if you're if you into watches, you, then you'd know this brand definitely. If you're, if you're new to watches, then this, for me, if you want a mechanical automatic watch, is the best watch for, I found it for about 110 pounds. OK, and for me, this is just it's just my favorite dive watch for this sort of price. And it is the Orient Ray 2. Now, just pay no attention about the worst strap in the history of straps. Let's get that rid of with just a take away. I just concentrate on that head. You have got a unidirectional 120 click um, uh, bezel. You've got a beautiful, I tell you what, I really love aluminium inserts. 
I love it. I, I, for me personally, I love them more than ceramic. Um, and I, sometimes a ceramic bezel can look a bit cheap on a watch, um, particularly if it's coloured and not black. But I love the vintagey style of a aluminium um, insert. Um, look at that bezel. That is that. Look at the grip of it. Look at the little index um, around one. 11 and we got seven and um five just little extra details that you don't see in any other watch it's not trying to be obviously it's a it looks a little bit like a like a rolex Sub submariner but you know look at this thing we have got a screw down crown we've got a screw down case back we've got a handset that looks a little bit seiko -y. why is that well it's because seiko owns orient and, and Orient may have taken a little bit of inspiration from the likes of the SKX. Um, look at the, uh, the the applied silver framed indices. They're superb. You've got 200 meters of water resistance. This is an in-house caliber. Where is it? It's the caliber F69. So it's, it's an automatic and hand wind 22 joule movement. Look at that little fleck of color on those seconds hand. Um, uh, it's just amazing. You've got a day and date complication that obviously for me, again, lets it down because I'm I'm not a huge day and date complication kind of guy. Um, I like my symmetry in my watches. Um, I made quite a funny joke about the 62 mass uh, Seiko watch um, with a day and date complication. If you have a proper prospects diver why the heck do you need a date um when you're swimming under the sea you know there, there isn't any sharks or fish that are going to ask for the date are there probably wouldn't ask for the time but that's not why you got one on um so this watch is 110 pounds and if you've got straps already 22 mil this is a beautiful watch i couldn't recommend this enough um i'm gutted that i gave it away um, in a uh, competition, my first 1,000 subscriber competition. Um, now, the only the, the only thing that lets it down a little bit is the grip on the bezel is a little bit um, little bit slippy, and it's quite hard, but it's very stiff, no back play whatsoever. The crown is a little bit small. Um, if the crown was bigger, oh, it would just be... It would be superb. Mineral crystal. Um, all of these watches um, that I've just showed you are mineral crystal, um, apart from the Vostok, which is acrylic. Um, but look at it. I'm, 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 a, I'm a huge fan of this. Huge fan of, of the Orient Ray 2. And I have, I have been very naughty and I've gone over my 100 bucks um, criteria. But I wanted to just show that one off one more time because I just think it's superb. Um, we have got, um, who have we got here? We got Ryan, what's he saying? He's got the Orient Mako 2, got it last night. It's amazing for the money. Yes, I love the Mako 2. I think it's got a big handset, a big handset. Um, I think it's the same size case. Um, uh, Stephen Harper's here, very awesome, awesome value. Um, uh, I just can't say it without... <laughs> <laughs> well, you say it in the American accent, Joe, aluminum, aluminum, um, aluminum, 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 aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have got Nimeni in drum. Um, nice to have you here, my friend. Uh, it's good. We have got Pale Horse, a 90s animal surf watch, the W003 orange dial. Wow, wow, well, wow. that, that takes a... That take, I bet that's at least a 50 uh, millimeter case size, my friend. Um, everyone had the animal stuff back in the day, didn't they? They're awesome. Uh, Gareth's here. Nice to see you, Gareth. Uh, oh, Veronica's here. Good vibes. Always good vibes when you've got profiles like that. I love that profile. Um, what we've got, we've got Jimmy Lim. Nice to have you here. The Kamasu with Sapphire. That is true. When you get the Orient Kamasu that has Sapphire, so it's a slight upgrades to um to the ray two um i just love i just love how it sort of reminds me of um the submariner but without being a homage or a clone to it my friend you know um uh so yeah yeah oh my god mark's come up with an absolute essay the loris loombright vx42-0 oh oh a a oh 
40 quid, 100 meter dive, rotate and bezel, screw down case and loom bright in aqua green, Japanese movement from all good Argos stores. <laughs> wow. I will, after this show is aired and finished, my friend, I'm going to check out this beauty. I had a few lorises in my time when I was growing up. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. I keep holding back from the Orient. Don't know why. Fraser, well, it all depends how many watches you've got, mate, and if you've got a lot of dive watches um, or if you've got a lot of daily watches. Honestly, it's a strapaholic, that Orient. Um, and I, I, if I didn't have so many, I would have worn that a lot more. Um, wristwatch, weirdo, Buddha, we love everything Orient does. Um, this this guy, check out his YouTube channel um, and his Instagram awesome memes he does. His collection is badass as they say in England. Um, we have got Psycho Fu. He's wearing his Kamasu. Lovely. With his um, uh, Sapphire Captain Turbo. CT's here in the house. What you wearing, my friend? Um, Ted Davies Artistry. He's got his blue Joro. Very nice. Look how this is spelled out and specified. This is tremendous, isn't it? Um Absolutely could not disagree. I'll tell you what, I cannot find a Casio Juro for under £70 unless I go used. I really want to um uh do one on the on the review on a review. I want to do a show on it. Very hard, very hard to find one. Um, very hard. Idle time. I like my Vostoks, but my Ray 2 is really nice and the bezel loosened up. How did you loosen that bezel up? A lot of twisting, a lot of twisting. Um, I imagine if it was a daily watch and you were twisting that bezel every day, it would get very, very, very um, loose. Uh, Mark, Apex 1000 meters. Yes, it's right. Oh, well, my. Are you, are you joking? 1000 meters? How tall it? Is it, what, 30 mil thick? Depth rate, it's got a helium. Wow, would you believe? And it's not a homage, no? Oh, my God. That is unbelievable. I mean, um, I won't go 10 metres, but having a watch that is a 1,000 metre depth um, for in the 125 metres, that is that is special. Um, yes, there he is. Uh, Terry is asking, I think it's Mark, what page of the Argos catalogue? <laughs> you found the Loris, my friend. I, they don't do the catalogues anymore. Oh, they don't do the catalogues. They stopped it. Um, uh, what else do we do? Ooh, what we got here? Francisco Martello, it's a pleasure to have you on board. The Casio MTD-1079D is awesome. Under £100. Just check it, please. I will, of course, check that, my friend. Um, I will have a look at it. Does it have a bezel? Does it have a dive time bezel? Screw down crown, screw down case back. Um, loom. Um, if you're ticking all those boxes, that it is a superb, superb. Um, oh, C CT's wearing his steel dive 1970. It is a great value, my friend, but we are not doing homages today. So take that off your wrist right now and stick on a Casio. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. It's a tremendous watch, my friend. Um, so we've cut. There's a lot of people come up with some special, special watches here. I mean, obviously, we got some awesome love for the Casio Juro. Um, we haven't talked a lot about Timexes. Um, I, there, I know that there's a line called Coastline, Coastline Range. I think um, Jody at Just One More Watch has done a um, show on very recently. Um, check out Timex because obviously Timex takes a lick in but keeps on ticking. Um, you should uh, definitely look at any Timex watches. That's a definite um, one to have a look at. What else we got? Scrolling through here. What else we got? Funny because Juro from the Casio watch means hard in Portuguese. Wow, lovely, isn't that? So you you learn something all the time on a on a mad chat. Uh, duro, duro, if said in that way, Francisco. Um, duro um, in Portuguese means hard. Well, that's probably what they were after, isn't it? Because that watch is like a tank, built like a tank. Lovely stuff. Um, Mr. Kevlar, I posted a few suggestions above for Timex. Let me see if I can find Mr. Kevlar's stuff. Um, uh, had a had a Ray Raven, great. What? Oh, lovely, lovely. 
Here we go. Here we go. The time next TW two R four six zero zero zero. Mr. Kevlar, could you tell us specifications? Does it have a bezel, uh, a drive time bezel, screw down crown, screw down case back? Um, what's the depth rating on it? You know, uh, we'd love to know. We would love to know. Um, this is awesome. Uh, hard. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is tomorrow Orient Fleet on rotation. Wow. I tell, does anybody do what um, Nimeni in drum does? Does anyone plan out what they're going to wear tomorrow? Because I, I, what I do, I've got so many watches, but I've got my um, watch box in there um, and I'll come in in the morning and I'll say, what shall I put on today? What am I doing today? And right now it's nothing most of the days, but I'll stick on, I'll, I'll go in there and I'll just do, 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 do. Yes, I'll pick that. I've got a little case for my Casios as well. Um, and I might stick on a Casio. I'm loving my um, G-Shock 5610 right now. I mean, if we're talking watches under a hundred pounds, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have <laughs> hardly any of the criteria that, that I'm specifying at the bottom there. But um, it sure does. I mean, it's got 200 meters water resistance. It's a, it's a very special watch. Um, uh, Terry, Terry, I am, uh, yes, listen, there's going to be a lot of people that are with you, my friend. Um, I, I really want one in just to try it. I, I got a feeling it will be a little bit big. Um, the, the dial is quite plain, so it can have a lot of space, um, a lot of space on that uh, dial. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you at the minute. But I'm yet to see uh, the Haina. This is the idle time. This is what we. This is what we want to have a look at. You see, I mean, we've we've gone well above the the hundred um, dollars. But hundred dollars would be hundred and twenty pounds. So that's fine. Um, look at everybody. Check out the ND dash zero two Navy Diver on Joma Shop. So that's a grey market seller. Um, you should. I'm going to check that out myself, my friend. When I look at. Look over there. Perry's here, everyone. I love that profile. Uh, that's what usually all of my baskets have at least one thing in them. Uh, the Casio MTD 1079D-1AVEF Super Illuminator. Uh, 45 millimeters. Christ. Um, that is, uh, is that a square digital, my friend? That is very special, isn't it? Oh, my God. Um can I just ask, we've got 52 people here, which is absolutely sensational. Can you please li click the um, like button now? Now, because it helps this channel um, really a lot. Uh, so I, I really do appreciate your, your com comments, but click the like button right now. That would be really helpful to me. Um, what do we got here? I look to see what my neighbor is wearing, then I wear something better than me. <laughs> That is very good, my friend. Well, I, I, I live between a Rolex Daytona and a, a Patek Philippe Nautilus. So I just put on a Casio and they are absolutely drooling, foaming at the mouth when I get out the door, my friend. Uh, I, I've seen this. Jimmy Lynn, new series of the Jewel Row is coming out without the Marlin logo. I saw a uh, Jody, um, uh, Jody review about he did the exclusive unveiling of the marlin um the juro without the marlin and um he wasn't too he wasn't too okay with it was he hey eh? wasn't too okay uh, us dollars don't forget the tax oh yes absolutely i always always forget that pet tax um uh until the end don't we uh mike tennessee tennessee mike there everyone uh that is superb nice to see you my friend uh, we have got, does the Rolex update count? Oh, you are joking. You are taking the Michael. Um, and no, we are very, uh, very jealous of your lovely watch there, Matty. Um, but I will get my Casio uh, modded from Terry, eh? One of a kind from Terry I got. Um, you ain't got one of them, no. Uh, Al Moscola. Hope all is well. This is a, what a lovely, polite message from Al. Al what are you wearing on your wrist, my friend? We need to know more about you because I can't see from your I can't see from your profile picture, um, and uh, it was a lovely message. So tell me, tell me, tell me what you're wearing. Um, I think there's at least 
12, 13, 14 suggestions here um, uh, of uh, budget watches under £100 on a budget. I think that's sensational. I think that's sensational. And I think we've got given the watch family, um, uh, I think we've given the watch family a hell of a lot of uh, things uh, to think about, haven't we? Uh, Michael, here he is. He's picking up a G-Shock 56 for £30. How are you doing that, my friend? Is that on eBay? You're doing that on eBay. I wouldn't mind one of them to compare it with my multiband six and solar. By the way, I do have my awesome mass Irukanji um, just to hand here. I love that watch. Go check out mass watches. Um, they are beautiful. Uh, for those of you that lasted to 40 minutes, um, congratulations. Well done. Um, shall we do the, uh, I think what we do, we have got to do the subscriber giveaway, haven't we? Um, can I just say a thank you, a massive thank you to everyone that has commented on um, and entered the, the, the giveaway. Um, we reached 2,000 subscribers, which is superb uh, for the channel. It's, it's, it's awesome. It came rather quick. I think the last 20 or 30 subscribers happened quite quick. And I was sort of taken aback. Um, when you, us, you know, watch reviewers, we tend to look at our analytics quite often just to see how the channel, the, the shows are doing. And it's usually that the, the shows that you didn't think you did very well on are doing very well. And, and the shows that you weren't blooming hard on have not got a lot of uh, views at all, you know. It's only because, you know, the traffic that is going through YouTube, if I was to do a homage steel dive um, or a homage Pagani design uh, show um, about, um, you know, it would get it would get three times the views of my Casio surfing time uh, show that I did. And I, I you know, you know, I, I just like giving you guys um variation and really it's also for me i like getting watches that i want to, sh to 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 get to look at and to and to play around with um not too much playing around with terry all right it was very well looked after um but uh yeah i i i, I just like i just like giving a variation and i will do homage watches i've got um there is a pagani in in the waiting coming in um to review so that's cool but uh yeah, um, you guys uh, gave me some great suggestions. I, I picked a winner. Um, and basically, if you didn't do this and you don't know about this um, competition, um, all you had to do was uh, give me a suggestion or an idea of a segment that we can add in our show, in, in the Mad Watch Collector show. So when I'm reviewing a watch, um, what can we add to it that will be, you know, good interesting to the viewer you um and maybe maybe entertaining as well because i'm all about that entertainment and educating you know i'm all for that sort of thing um and i had some great suggestions uh i'm just going to show some, some pictures i got some i took some pictures of some of the uh let me see so uh these are just some of the ones that i really liked and i thought i'd wanted to mention them um, Alex Precision have some outfits to go with a watches, not just rich wrist shots, but full outfits complementing the watch or watch strap. I thought that was awesome. I mean, that is. Do you imagine me leaving the house because my my office is my studio is not where I live. It's a way away, and I'd have to take a suitcase with me to um to change in the outfits. But I really did like that that um thought um you know what you could wear the watch with you know could you wear it with a suit i'd be wearing a suit or could you wear it wearing sport and um, sports gear i love that case back beauty too often ignored we love them this is matty s by matty s for for 146 uh let's start rating them we could end up with the case back championships uh that's really good i mean i i try and talk about the case back a little bit of watches but maybe i could do um something a bit more about them and you know and really rate them i think that was a, a a great suggestion josh r if you're here i know you were here not long ago my friend um he gave me some amazing suggestions i mean he gave me an essay can you see that there you go 
Can you see that? Not only did he give me the segment suggestions, he gave me the names of the characters I can use. You know, for instance, Clark Handsome, uh, the clergy, it was Ronnie Ruckus. It was amazing. The one, the one suggestion that did stick um, to my mind um, was the one at the bottom, which was downtime. Um, and it was a regular weekly show with, with, with me talking about men's mental health and how the watch community can support each other. Suicide is the leading cause of death in men under 40 and the watch community is mostly male driven. And, and I've got to say, I, I'm, I'm all for that. And um, if there was a way I can do that sort of thing and introduce it um, maybe in its own show, I don't think I can do it in a, in a watch review, but I, I definitely want to look down the line and further down the line and, and, and maybe do stuff on mental health because, you know, we're all in this together, boys. And um, the, the one thing that I found in this community is, you, you know, they're, they're, you're lovely. You're all, you're all great guys, you know, and, and if ever anyone needs a hand, you know, we, we are here for everyone, aren't we? You know, um, I know all of you just by your profile name, but I have chats with you most, most days. Um, and I, and I, I tend to chat more with you than I do my mum and dad, you know. So it's, um, I think that was a really special thing um, from uh, Josh R to uh, write. And I wanted to highlight it because I think it's something quite important. Um, I liked this one. What about Babe Watch? This is from Watch Gimp, um, where you send pics of your watch, of, of, of the watch to Instagram models or something for them to rate it. <laughs> yes, I can just imagine me saying, uh, hello, I'm the Mad Watch Collector. I've got a watch here. Can you give me a rating? I just thought that was quite funny. Um, very funny indeed. Uh, it wouldn't be just women. We give it to men as well, men models, because uh, it's it's also ladies and men that uh, love this hobby, of, obviously. Um, Mark Ninin, we had, um, I love this one. This was... Uh, how about what the watches look like underwater, um, in the sea, river, bath or sink? I love that. I really do do, do love that. Um, th the only thing is what I tend to do is I tend to have watches coming to me from subscribers. I tend to have brand new watches come to me and I, I don't feel comfortable sticking them in the sea. Um, I'd happily do my own watches. Well, uh, but I'd happily put um, I'd happily submerge my watches in a glass of water that was sterile, you know, um, but I thought that was quite a good one. Uh, we've got one more like a segment which you made a segment in which you tried different straps on watches, for example, take an SKX009 and try on, let's say, 10 different straps. Well, that's going to be a long episode, but I do love the idea of of me suggesting suggesting what straps would look good on a watch for watch reviews um I, I think that would work really well um and i've i know a lot of strap companies and i've had a lot of straps from a lot of companies now i'm going to do a dive watch strap show very soon um and i've got some amazing brands that are very kindly sent stuff to me um glenn also uh glenn reynolds uh, a big a supporter of the show um he's here still here my friend um he suggested that um when i'm reviewing a quite an expensive watch um very pricey that that not all of us not us can afford um coming up giving giving you a suggestion of maybe an affordable alternative i thought that was really good and uh, it wouldn't take too long to do or for me to research i think i could do that quite well um, so I really liked that suggestion, suggestion, uh, Glenn. That's really good. Um, and uh, I like I like this one. Strap flexibility brought to you by Flexi Lexi, who's known for being flexible. I really like that from from Nikki likes watches. Uh, Nick likes watches. I thought that was brilliant. Uh, I love how you guys have come up with her character names. <laughs> it's brilliant. Anyway, come on, let's move on to um the uh winner and it was something very simple um it was something that i think um would work really well it's not something that's going to take a long time to do um it's something that i do um uh you know just of a passing comment anyway and it is um this was the suggestion um just a little funny idea let your wife um uh give a first impression review of the watch 
Um, mine is always very honest and isn't biased for brand heritage price and gives nice insights. I thought that was very good. And I am going to get uh, Mrs. MWC um, to give me her first thoughts. I'm not going to tell her the price of the watches. I'm not going to tell her, um, uh, you know, the heritage or the history of the brand. I think I'm going to do a um, uh, a first impressions from Mrs. MWC. Uh, I thought that was really good. Very simple, um, but I loved it. So congratulations to Sits Kruisnenga. Congratulations, my friend. You are the winner of the goodies. You're the winner of the NDC goodies. You're the winner of the watch cone. You're the winner of the um, Clockwork Republic uh, SKX rubber strap. Um, congratulations to you, my friend. Uh, if you, uh, I will contact you via your comment if you're not watching right now, um, and you're going to give me your uh, details of where you live, and I will send it to you. Um, so congratulations, congratulations uh, to you, my friend. Uh, thank you, everyone, for for um, uh, coming with suggestions because it's awesome. At the end of the day. You know, this the, these shows, hopefully what's given other content creators, it's given them something to think about as well. I know that other content creators will will have um, read uh, some of the comments. And uh, at the end of the day, we, we are doing this for, for, for you guys. And um, obviously it's more tailored to a bit of fun with, with my sort of lighthearted channel. But what I did love as well is the AS, what is it called? The ASMR um, where you, everything's very quiet, very quiet, and you just basically just twist the bezel or you turn the crown and you listen to the, the noises it makes. Let's see if you can hear a, uh, I love that idea, by the way. Um, let me just get rid of the pop shield. Here we go. Listen. Can you hear that? Yeah. I do like that. I do like the idea of giving the noises that um, that watches makes, whether it's the clasp, um, Faisal, he, he said the sound of the clasp um, crisping, shutting together or the bezel turning or the winding of the um, of the crown. I think I think that, is, that was awesome. Awesome idea. Um, I think I, I, I'm going to probably do some of that as well. I think that's really fun. Uh, here we go. So well done. Well done um, to everyone that has, has, has come to today's show. Um, I haven't decided what the next live show is going to be, um, but it'll be a bit of fun and it'll be something where I want you to help me as you to help me as well, um, because it, these these live chats are for you guys, you know, to uh, the watch community, to, to everyone to help out and and give suggestions. And I love the comments that everyone's uh, given, given us. It's brilliant. Um so that's it. This is it from me, team. Um, thank you very much for all of you that have been here uh, for all this time. Um, I look forward to uh, showing you. I've got I've got a beautiful military watch um, I'm going to show you next week. Um, I'm probably going to do a Russian watch the following week, uh, the following uh, on the Friday. And I'm going to be showcasing uh, an amazing strap on Sunday. I'm doing a new showcase strap. Sunday show it won't be very long, but I'm going to do that. Um, what we don't see in a lot of um, live chats is everyone saying goodbye, and this is really nice to to to, to see that everyone's saying see you next week and see you, uh, and see you later, bye. Um, before you go, and if you haven't already, get on the Facebook page, uh, Facebook group. If you look at my last YouTube um, show, it will have a link to Linktree, which has all my, has the YouTube channel, the Instagram, everything. Come and join the Facebook group. And um, what I do is I, I show, uh, you know, behind the scenes photos um, and and more in-depth stuff. It means we can chat, you know, all the time and not just on the live shows. Um, thank you very much for, for watching and um, being part of it. If you've given in your suggestions, um the town watch. Sorry, my friend, I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you. Um, pleasure to, um, thank you so much for being here. It's awesome. Um, that's it. That is it. Uh, is that, is anyone got anything else to say? No. Well, that's good. 
um, Facebook chat during the week is cool. Absolutely, Michael. Wow, there you go. Um, that's good. We can just have a good. Uh, we can have a good uh, chat, can't we? Um, I'll see you in the next mad chat, um, and I'll see you in a tick. <laughs>